has a gift of, for painting personalities. I mean, really encrypting personalities onto the score. If you're familiar with witches in the Macbeth, I'm fascinated by his use of uh, notes to describe how strong and healthy and uh, big boned those witches were. They're not caricatures, they are witches with strength and femininity and he uses the score and long notes for instance when they first greeting Macbeth to show their composure, their assurance and their assertiveness um, about the role and about how they not to be taken for granted um, when they greet Macbeth with Salve o Macbetto uh, one after the other, they build this self-confidence, one witch after the other. And by the time the third witch has greeted Macbeth, very much this is a guy who at that period obviously decides for everything women are supposed to stay at home and cook. And those witches are making decisions for the whole of existence for everybody. Um, and those witches, with their powers, obviously, in my view, symbolical, those witches are standing up to that guy and mocking him and taking it. Mick Verdi does it in a way which is quite outrageous for the time. The, the, the witches are almost spreading their wings on the stage, spreading their messages on the score, stretching their consonants and whistling the S's in and banging this awful truth of his to his face and taking space and taking the time to make their message known which means that they don't have to prove themselves they just have this authority so he's really building layers around the character putting the three witches as the main decision makers this whistling dramatic entrance and very fast thinking before you actually register one sound another flute comes in and another basically invading your mind as a listener and so this painting this landscape it builds is the most powerful thing structure them women standing there making their thoughts known witty and snappy in the way they're thinking the consonants are jumping around the intervals and stuff like that and it's difficult to follow so subconsciously as a listener and as a singer you actually have to follow this pattern jumping around and, uh, and dancing and impulsing through the school and the consonants are sharp and uh, accented so precise eloquent women even in the speed of their thinking when they meet this guy he doesn't know how to reply is disarmed if you have any thoughts about uh, Verdi or Mozart um, please um, you let me know.